In this episode, I'm going to show you the three best upgrades for the Axial SEX-10 III and the Traxxas TRX-4 Defender. Are you ready? Okay, we've done about 20 upgrades to our 10.3 and our TRX-4 and I'm going to show you the three best ones, three of my favorite ones because they combine both aesthetics, some, some upgrades are for looks, and performance. So this uh, is kind of the hallowed combination of looks and performance and it's something not everyone has done before. Huh? And it's not a rooftop tent or a light kit or, or whatnot. And I've done all those. Brushless motor. So here it is. What I have is, and what, what put this together, are these new wheels from Boom Racing. So they're called Pro Build Wheels. And the category killer here, the secret sauce, are these clear plates. The clear plates let you, let you see the brass uh, portal axle covers underneath and what's really special is I have these things from Samix both these have the Samix portal axle covers and they have a disc brake this brake so the disc brake is really cool because the machining is so nice but you can't see it until I finally got the wheel that allows you to showcase the inside so kind of nerdy huh but it looks really cool <laughs> it's like a floating wheel um, but it allows you, it showcases what's inside. But it doesn't end there. So those are two upgrades. Um, the wheels and the, the brass. Uh, the third upgrade is Proline dual stage foams and Hyrax tires. Uh, Hyrax is one of the best. There's others out there, Team Ot6 um, and, and uh, to, uh, to, to to name just another, you want it in the normal compound, G8 compound, I believe, if you have a heavy, heavy vehicle and you want to go fast, and you want the Predator compound if you want to go slow and crawl the toughest stuff. So what's special about the wheels and the, uh, and the brass? So the wheels are cool, pro build, because they have replaceable face plates. So this is just one of 10 face plates that they have, many different styles and colors. So you could replace them anytime. So have a different look for your vehicle. This particular one is a clear acrylic, so clear. Um, mind you though, it comes with a plastic sheet just like your, your Lexan body. I was trying to buff it out and then I discovered, oh man, there's just peel off the plastic and it becomes super clear. So what's special about them as well is they have configurable offsets. Offset is how, uh, how your wheel sticks in your body whether it's it's inside or sticks outside a little bit and that's very useful for really setting up your vehicle you want it wider if 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 you want to uh, give it a better stance better side healing uh, better control on the rear and you want it narrower if you want it to be able to fit in more places so a very useful tool and i believe these wheels have i don't know five or six different offsets uh, and, and that's without using the, the spacer hubs that uh, most people use. The, basically, you can assemble the wheel in so many different ways uh, that the offset changes. Such genius. Uh, it kind of changes the look of the wheel too. The second thing is the, the Samix brass portals. So a, a cover is like this. One of the great things about portals is it's a great opportunity to lose weight or, or, to, or to add weight low in the vehicle. So this is a, a normal cover. It weighs about one gram. And these covers that Samix has uh, weighs about, I don't know, 200 grams. It's crazy. And they even have a removable brass um, 
uh, stub that you can add or remove so the, when, when you're fine tuning okay and we they even have these other thing which is the the portal carrier the steering knuckle uh, this weighs uh, quite a bit as well and I haven't even used it so uh, this is just an option for me to add even more weight in the front if, if I wanted to uh, sometimes you can add this in the you know and you can distribute the weight front and rear depending on how you want your weight distribution uh, these Samix ones come with hex adapters too that can widen your stance so very useful brass is really useful in um, in vehicles with portals because you can add a lot of weight and it's actually lower than the axle line it's am it's amazing a tire is actually right on the axle line because you have uh, a weight on all around in a, in a complete circle so the, the portal is the lowest you can possibly put weight on a vehicle so and why is weight important weight is important when you have a big body like this you know there's no way you're going to perform unless you, you change your body. And a lot of these bodies are unrealistic looking, uh, very light, not detailed at all. So if you wanna keep your, your, your good body, uh, detailed body, but perform, you, you gotta add weight down low. 60-40 is the traditional one um, because you want a little more forward weight to let it settle on climbs. And finally, so we talked about the wheels, the, the portals and the tires three upgrades that will get you a long way these two vehicles have are very good box stock and i have a shootout right here on how they compare box stock but now uh, it's time to mod them a little bit you don't have to go brush this more you don't have to change your radio right away these are the ones that's going to get you to the next level and all this running video i have is of this setup only these three mods uh, we're done on this vehicle so here we are in our test course i'm going to give you a little commentary hope you don't mind because sometimes running video makes more sense when someone is explaining exactly what you're looking at so this is the gladiator sex 10 3 the best performer of the 10 3 family here is our secondary climb with the nice tires it's able to grip no problem right there I had to power through that almost uh, vertical hole and right there I'm not sure if you saw but it's going through that rock that goes right through the portal axles that's the strength of this vehicle right here is one of the steepest lines and it goes over the rock nice articulation it's able to do it no problem so the brass weight allows the front to dig in. Right here, I'm really just slow crawling it on, on the steep wall of doom right here. You gotta clear that left rock. It's able to steer. And so it's the vehicle is wide, but not too wide that it can't fit in those tight places. I think we're gonna do it again. The entry here is quite difficult for a big vehicle. Oh here, you get to see him descend. Stock ESC, once you change the settings, it's configurable like the 1080 hobby wing. It performs well. So right here, difficult entry, drags the bumper. Little time lapse there. And here, I just slow crawl it. And you can see the front of the vehicle is touching the ground. And that's the key. If those are floating, it's not gonna climb. And that's what brass is really important for. It's a heavy vehicle, it still looks good, but it's able to perform. Right there, it's gonna do, a, threatening to do a little side hill. It's gonna descend that cliff on the right. It fell. <laughs> it fell hard. And uh, the plastic acrylic wheels are fine. Right here is a very tough left-hander. You, you, all the vehicles they have to hug that wall and kind of hit it with momentum hit it like a berm gladiator seems to have an easier time and here it's gonna do something almost none of the other vehicles can do which is it's gonna take that rock face almost head-on and the wheelbase of it is just enough to get the front wheels on top and there's a lot of portal clearance a lot of belly clearance so it doesn't get hung up 
we did it over and over again and it was pretty remarkable right here we're gonna go more left than normal and right there a little belly drag no problem so here we're gonna do the ultimate side hill test only our belly dragger slow CG vehicles can do this but we always try with our trail crawlers this is dual stage foams and you can see the tire is not collapsing even with the extreme weight of this vehicle right on the on the on the on the, on the lower tire but it is sliding did it a couple times not quite there the vehicle is just so high that no amount of weight uh, is gonna allow it to do this here's something interesting we're gonna do the notch and it really doesn't have much of a problem right here some pretty extreme side hill to get past that and here we're gonna do the wall and that is easier said than done but it gladiator did it on its second attempt quite impressive it really is outperforming the defender and the bronco and here we're gonna do some some loose loosey goosey dirt and rocks and so what's helping it here is the good tires good balance but also the good clearance because all, all those rocks are, are are just dragging the links dragging the belly and the axles but it's able to have just enough clearance so it could get another shot at the at the apple so to speak and I think crawling that's what you want you want as many opportunities uh, to hit the place with with angles here is really very difficult for a, a body this big it's just not enough space but we were willing to try sacrifice the body a little bit not to not much success and here is a very steep wall but you could perch the front wheel on top and if you're not dragging too much you'll be able to lift yourself up right here you could see where high clearance links can help you out but this vehicle was able to do it a little easier angle here and it's like it's nothing good articulation helps this and finally our last one is this little rock peak we're trying to hit it from the right side we're gonna hook that left front tire on that rock use it as a handhold and then work it with our clearances nice slider it's able to go through thanks a ton thank you if you are interested in content like this, please subscribe and hit the notify button. Remember that RC Review is here to give you unbiased information, fun stuff, buy, buy, upgrade, 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 crawl, 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 high five your friends, and really make the most out of each day and out of each year, no matter what the difficulties are around us. Okay, thank you.